Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel, and today I am doing another Whip and Chat video. If you guys are new to Whip and Chat videos, basically Whip and Chat means work in progress, or Whip means work in progress, and uh, the chatting part, I am just chatting with you guys, catching up on my week with you guys. Um, and today for my Whip, I will be working on Little Lizard Garden. This is by Rose Catherine Kahn and Diamond Art Club. This original artwork is so pretty, and the diamond painting is turning out stunning. Like, this is an insanely gorgeous diamond painting, and um, I am on the second row of this diamond painting. Um, very excited to keep working on it. It's just, it's one of those big pieces you just work on, you know, step by step, and it just, it turns out so gorgeous. So, very excited to work on this with you guys. Feel free to pull out whatever you're working on and work alongside me, um, or, you know, feel free to just listen to this as well. I definitely do that with whip and chats sometimes, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get right on into it. It's currently, like, 9 a.m., so I have my cup of coffee here. So I will be taking a little bit of coffee breaks because it's only 9 a.m. Like, I need to be woken up, and I'll explain why, why I'm filming this so dang early in a minute. Um, but for my accessories, <laughs> um, I'm just using this pen that I've been using like every single time. I don't have a huge stash of pens at all. Um, I tend to just use the same pen over and over again. Um, this is in a pen from Enablers Outpost. I'm using the Diamond Art Club multi-placer in this, uh, the four-placer with Randa's Crafty Corner Putty, just the Diamond Art Club tray that I've been using, and I'm gonna work on this section right here, so I'm gonna go ahead take off the release paper so we can get started oh my gosh this is so pretty this is a, <laughs> this is really pretty this is a ton a ton of greens in this section in particular wow, I'm gonna go ahead and actually zoom in for you guys so you can just see a little bit better what I'm working on but I was gonna say where did I put the little cap thing to my tweezers they were on the tweezers okay what do I want to start out with Ooh, I'm kind of thinking I want to do like um get some of these like one-offs away first like these two corners first just because that I think makes the most sense also what I'm gonna do quick I don't like sometimes how so I put release papers on my diamond paintings and sometimes I like them to be lined up So I like to have the same row like where I stop on the same row every time and sometimes I don't put the release paper on well enough for that So I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say look at the little fishy that's above here, but you guys can't even see it There's a little fishy um, Okay, let me actually get this release paper on a little bit better um, it would end here, I think, and then that row. Okay, perfect. That does the trick a lot better. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to grab my first color and begin chatting. Hi, guys. Happy Sunday. Let's see. There are sometimes, if there aren't that many of one color, I just count out how many there are, and I'll just pull them out with my finger because I do not feel like, um, I don't feel like dumping all of them out just to put them all back. So that's what I'm doing. Um, anyways, hi guys. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, it's still very, I mean, it's not very early on on the weekend. It's Sunday for sure. Um, but it is, I guess, early, early enough. Um, did I grab, yeah, I grabbed enough. Um, or late enough to say I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, I'm gonna, okay, Ooh, that color's done already. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be... A little bit distracting. Um, anyways, so how has my weekend been? My weekend's been pretty good. It's been a little bit chaotic. Um, I don't love weekends that are like this, but honestly, like sometimes it just happens. Can't always control that. Um, Friday, Friday was probably the most chill of my weekend. Um, I, what did I do? I, um, I really did not do a whole lot. I think I might have actually, did I color a little bit on Friday? That actually might not be true. I might have tried coloring a page um, and then decided to <laughs> put it away. Um, I diamond painted a little bit and on Friday night actually, I chatted with Courtney, Diamonds Are Girl's best friend here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below if you guys have never checked her out before. Um, she's one of my besties here on YouTube. Um, so you should definitely check out her channel, but we, um, uh, just so happened to have some free time at the same time. It was like 11 p.m. for me, almost midnight, and, uh, normal time for her, like 9 o'clock. <laughs> um, so that was really fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this next color I am just gonna pour the entire thing in, make it a little easier. Um, 
so yeah, that was really fun to get to chat with Courtney for a little bit. We chat on occasion for sure. We're always, um, we're always texting, um, but we definitely don't like chat chat like super duper often. So it was really nice to get to chat with her for a little bit. So I did that on Friday and then Saturday, which was yesterday. Um, let's see, Saturday morning, yesterday morning, I went with my parents to a little, like, pet walk event, basically at a park near my house. Um, there was, like, a, like, a fundraiser kind of walk for the Humane Society, and my parents and I took Zeus to that, and he had a really good time. It was, like, a walk along, like, a trail, and there were, um, vendors set up, and, Zeus got this really cute, like, Tito's vodka toy. <laughs> I'll have to give that to him, um, maybe next week in the vlog. I don't know if my parents, no, my parents definitely have not given it to him yet. Maybe I'll have to film when he gets it to show his reaction. I mean, not like he knows it's Tito's vodka, but, like, it's just really, really cute. Um, so, yeah, vendor set up, and there was, like, I know there was, like, a food and, like, a boba little like cart um the food was like uh what was it like um loaded tots that's what it was <laughs> like loaded tater tots which i did not try but honestly i thought about it but um yeah that didn't happen oh my gosh also friday completely forgot the reason i did not actually get anything from the food thing was because friday night i went to dinner with my parents at chili's which was wildly unexpected um uh, my mom just like texted me because i went to pick up paint for her on friday after my appointment after work <laughs> and she was like because I was like, okay, I have the paint here. I'll just bring it over to you tomorrow because I wasn't going to go over by my parents on Friday night because my weekend was going to be so busy. And she goes, okay, unless we're going to Chili's tonight, then just bring it when we pick you up. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't know we were going to Chili's tonight. Um, so we went to Chili's on Friday night. I got um, a burger and fries. Their burgers are like the best freaking burger. I swear they're so good. Take another sip of my drink. Man, this coffee is good. It's hitting the spot on this nice Sunday morning. Um, no, but like I, their their burgers are just like so good, top tier, top tier. Like one of those. It's not really fast food. Chili's not fast food, but like those chain restaurants. Chili's, in my opinion, just has the best burgers. <laughs> I think Chili's in general just has some really great food. Um, I like Chili's, so we went to Chili's. So that's the reason why I didn't get anything from that food vendor thing because um, I had some leftovers to eat for lunch yesterday. Um, so my parents and I came home from the pet event. We ate lunch. We relaxed for like, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes. Maybe we were lucky enough for 40 minutes. And then um, my brother and sister-in-law came over and dropped off their dogs, Melvin and Penny, by my parents. If you guys are new to my channel, they have two dogs. I have dog sat them before. Um, this was last year. I dog sat them for, I think it was like a total of like a week or a week and a half, maybe more like a week, um, at their apartment in um, Illinois where they live. Um, well, actually they do not live in that apartment anymore, but um, they were at an apartment at the time. Um, and so they brought over Melvin and Penny because they were going to a wedding today, or actually last night. Um, yeah, not today, last night. And uh, my parents said they would dog sit. <clears throat> so I hung out there for a bit and saw the two dogs. They're the cutest. Melvin is a golden doodle. He's probably like 50 pounds, probably a little bit more than 50 pounds. He's a big boy. <laughs> He's a big boy. He's so stinking cute though. And then Penny is a little um, mini poodle, I think is the breed she uses, a mini poodle. Um, she's also so freaking cute. Like, let me show you guys. I got a picture of her last night. Or not last night, but yesterday. Um, <laughs> she's so cute. This is, this is Penny. So if anyone's diamond painting want to look up, <laughs> look how stinking cute she is. She is just, she's just the sweetest little thing. Um, I need... Oh, I don't think I've, like, really worked with this color much. This symbol right here, the little, um, I don't know, line with a circle. <laughs> um, 
so yeah, I hung out there for a little bit. Nothing too crazy because honestly, I knew today would also be hectic. So I decided to head home around like three o'clock, which I had been at my parents since like one o'clock or not, no, not one o'clock. Why did I say one o'clock? That wasn't even true. Um, since like eight o'clock, it was like eight or 8.30 that I had been over at my parents. Okay, eight or 8.30 might've been a lie. It might've been closer to nine, but whatever. Um, so I decided to head home. I got some stuff done. I actually filmed a video that's gonna go up next week that I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, oh, I need, I think that's over here, yeah. Um, I did that and I tried to relax last night. <laughs> I colored a page last night. I, um, what else did I do? Diamond painted a little bit. Um, I read a little bit, but then I actually DNF'd the book I was reading. <laughs> so that was kind of a flop, but it's fine. Um, I really just wanted to make last night like relaxing because, um, I knew today was also going to be busy. So that was kind of yesterday in a nutshell. And okay, we did all of like the, the like little, little corners. <laughs> what do I want to do next? There's a lot of like, hmm, maybe I'll do... A little this one okay this is so pretty but yeah there's definitely like a ton of greens in this kit so if you're not a green fan you might not like this but I really think this is so pretty this is turning out incredible um, and we're only like the second row in I'm so excited to see this one come together I just think this one's gonna look really really pretty um, but anyways moving on into today uh, so today um, like I said it's currently 9 a.m. so I'm trying to get some stuff done this morning because uh, I think at like 12 or 12.30, my parents are picking me up because we are going over to my sister's house in, um, I was literally out here just going to say the city. No, I'm not going to do that. We're going to my sister's house. She lives about an hour and a half away. Um, she's throwing my nephew a little like summer party thing and we were invited and so I decided to go. Um, <clears throat> so... I mean, I'll get to see my nephew, which will be nice. Although, like, I really don't think I'll see much of him, if I'm being honest, because he's going to be with his friends. Um, but decided to go anyways. And, um, yeah, that that's just going to be, like, a lot of my afternoon. The party starts at 2. It takes, like, an hour and a half to get there. And then, I mean, we'll probably stay for, like, an hour and a half, two hours, and then head out. That's, like, a fair amount of my day, <laughs> unfortunately. So, I mean, it's it really is fine. Um but I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. This coffee is like getting cold now. Um, I know it's, it's really fine, um, but I mean, I like my Sundays for sure to be like a little bit relaxing, so I'm trying to make the most of the time I do have at home today and also try to get some stuff done. So I'm trying to film this video and at least maybe get it scheduled if I can. Um, I need to straighten my hair at some point, maybe, maybe before I leave. I don't know. That's really not the most top priority thing. Um, it would be nice, though, to get that done. I'm not sure if that'll happen. Um, but today is just busy, and I feel like a lot of it is just because of all the driving. I feel like otherwise it wouldn't be that big of a deal, um, but that's fine. I think I'm going to bring my book with me in the car, my audiobook and my physical book. I always, like, used to say that, like, I have, I get like car sick whenever I'm reading in the car, but honestly, it's been so long since I've tried reading in the car that I kind of don't think that's an issue anymore. And also like I can read stuff on my phone in the car. Like I'm always on my phone in the car. Not like when I'm driving, obviously, but like <laughs> I'm always like on my phone whenever I'm just like a passenger. So I don't know. I don't know like if I would be able to physically read a book too, but I'm like, I might as well like bring my physical book with me and try to knock out a fair amount of the book while we're driving. Cause like, you know, that's a long drive for me to just be sitting there doing literally nothing. Um, hi, my name is Michaela, and I like being productive, like, all the time. <laughs> not, like, productive, because, like, that's not always, like, productive stuff, but I do always like to be, like, doing something that makes me feel accomplished, which isn't great, but, yeah. So, that is kind of my weekend in a nutshell. That was kind of a long nutshell, um, but, it, I mean, it's been a really good weekend. It's just been really, like, busy, and I don't always love when my weekends are so busy, but it's all good. I think next weekend will be a little bit more chill, I think. Honestly, I have no idea what's happening next weekend. Um, I guess I can look at my calendar since we're here. Just, I don't know. Just, why not? Let's see, Friday. Pay credit card. Okay. Nothing on Saturday. Uh, nothing on Sunday that I'm aware of. Um, ooh, wow, next Sunday starts September? Are we joking? Jeez, so we have one more week left of August. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
Awesome. So that was my weekend in a nutshell. I hope everyone else had a fabulous weekend. I know obviously this video is going up on Monday, so you guys will have had your weekend. Um, yeah, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Had to, you know, do what do what you wanted to do or, you know, got some stuff done or whatever you did. I hope it was a good one. So yeah, that's my weekend. Um, I definitely took notes on my phone of what I wanted to talk about. Let's see what's next on my list. Oh, yeah, I wrote down that I wanted to tell you guys, and obviously I did kind of already tell you guys, but I've been doing a little bit of coloring here and there. Nothing crazy. Um, I, I think it was last week, finished my um, Atlantis Disney page I colored. Um, my pages that I color are always on my Instagram, and I have my Instagram linked down below. Um, my crafting Instagram, I believe I updated it in the description box to be my crafting Instagram, um, like new handle, but I, um, I finished that page that I've been working on for a while and then I decided to pick up some new acrylic paint markers like black acrylic paint markers because I've heard that using the acrylic paint markers in the Disney books for outlining is a game changer so I decided to give it a try for myself and it absolutely is a game changer the black water base markers work well enough but I found that like I could never find the black oh no I missed some of the other symbol um I could never find like a good enough black marker to use that'll like I don't know I don't know like I I was using one of two things and maybe that was my problem I was using either a really thick Crayola black marker which yeah that probably was not the move um I mean it, it worked like for maybe the first time using it on a page because the tip hadn't been like used in yet so the tip still was a little bit thinner um but then I also gave a try these black um brush markers that are water-based um which like worked out well in some of the disney books but not all of them also you know what i'm gonna do because this is gonna bother me this is what i do if i find an extra symbol of a few colors that i missed and i just want to get it done i'll take them and put them on my finger and put them to the side actually and i'll just single place them onto the canvas <laughs> i don't want them to get mixed up in my tray with the other colors obviously um but that is what i do when i run across this just because i want to put it down <laughs> i don't know okay so let's just get these in here this is such a pretty color it's like a pistachio green which i love okay there we go got those in take another sip of my drink i just don't want this to get cold i know i could reheat it but really truly reheated coffee is that good i don't really think it is okay that's super good <clears throat> um also hits because it's 9 a.m on a sunday say it with me right um where was I going with my, my sentence? I think I was talking about the black markers I was using on the Disney pages beforehand. Um, yeah, so I decided to order a set of the Arteza black paint markers off of Amazon, and those came in the mail, I don't know, mid last week. And <clears throat> I think Friday night, no, mm, yeah, actually, I think it was Friday night. I did start coloring a page, um, a Disney page, and I finished it yesterday, e no, uh, yesterday e evening, uh, none of these drills are on here, well, um, I finished it yesterday evening, and I think it turned out really, really nice, and actually, you know what, I'll just show you guys, because you don't have to go all the way to my Instagram to find this one, I'll just show you, <laughs> I completed this guy right here, um, I think he's from Strange World, actually, and I think he turned out really, really nice. I love all the colors in this, and it was pretty easy to color, and the black acrylic paint markers really, really, like, hit the spot, did a really good job, um, because so I had a ton of fun with that page, actually. Got me really inspired to color more out of my Disney books, um, so hopefully, hopefully, you know, I end up coloring more out of them, because they're definitely fun. I've said it a lot of times, but I feel like they scratch a very similar itch to diamond painting in a way, Obviously, it's not the same, but it's really cool because you get, like, Disney characters as an end result, which is always really fun. Um, so I'm hoping maybe I'll feel more motivated to do more, more of those pages, you know? I don't think I have any more of this symbol. Hmm. This gets a little confusing with all the greens, but that's fine. Hopefully, I didn't miss any. What do I want to do next? Hmm. Okay. It's really hard. I... Whenever I'm doing this, I always really have to pick the symbol that sticks out to me the most, especially because there are just so many greens going on right here. Makes it a little challenging, but I think, I think I'm going to go with this symbol next. 
I think this makes the most sense. Um, so anyways, yeah, I did a little bit of coloring, a little bit of Disney coloring. I've been doing a little bit more coloring. Um, hopefully that kind of continues a little bit. Um, I, I think it honestly kind of helps a little bit that I don't really make content on it anymore because I'm not like as passionate about it as I used to be. And I think you really have to be passionate about something if you make YouTube videos about it um, just because you know, you're expressing your excitement about it. And if you're inauthentic, not inauthentic, I guess that doesn't mean you're not inauthentic, but I think like you have to have a genuine like love for what you're doing. I don't know, this makes me sound probably awful. You do you, <laughs> you do you. But I definitely think it helps when you have a very genuine love for what you're doing. And if that, you know, falls off, I feel like your audience can definitely tell that it falls off and that isn't always like the best. Um, but that is just something I've learned over, you know, doing YouTube and falling off of coloring for a bit is like, I wasn't enjoying making the content for a bit and I definitely think other people could tell too. So it helps to be authentic and enjoy what you're doing. That's what I'm going to say about that because I don't want to say something <laughs> that might offend somebody. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, that is kind of my... I guess normal life update. Let me find another color here. I think we'll go with this one. We'll go with this color and we can talk about some diamond painting stuff. I don't have a ton <laughs> to say about diamond painting this week again. I feel like I tend to talk a lot more about my diamond painting life during my vlog videos. So if that's something you've never checked out before, I highly recommend checking out my vlog videos. I think they're really fun to make and I, I super enjoy making them every week. I've been so consistent with making those for the past 30, like basically 36 weeks. Um, I did have a couple weeks there where I didn't make them. I know there was one week in January. Oh no, not January. It was December that I didn't make a vlog video and I don't even know why I didn't do it necessarily. It's not like I was, I don't think like busy that week or anything. I just didn't make one. Um, and then there was one week in April. I didn't do it because that's when my grandma passed away. So otherwise I've been very consistent <clears throat> in making these vlog videos for the last, however <laughs> many weeks, 36 weeks or whatever. Can't believe we're hitting 37 weeks this week. That's crazy. Um, but I'm very excited about it. So I'm gonna take another sip of coffee. My throat also at this point in the video somehow has decided to leave. Also, I see a squirrel out my window on a tree. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, so <clears throat> yeah, I didn't even wanna talk about the vlogs. I just decided to <laughs> give a little bit of a, a mention to them. But um, what did I wanna talk about? Um, I did not purchase anything from Diamond Art Club for the new releases over the weekend. Um, however, However, they have been doing a ton, a ton of restocks over the last, uh, <laughs> the last couple weeks, really. Um, but this last week, they really have just been knocking out some restocks, and one of them did end up getting me. I ended up ordering um, Alice in Wonderland, which is a really beautiful, almost landscape style piece, and it's really big. It's like 107 by 70 centimeters, so it's a very large painting, but it's so pretty and so detailed. I love paintings like that. So I decided to pick it up because it restocked a couple months ago as well, and I missed it, and I kept like I was actually really sad that I missed that restock um or maybe thought about it too long so I decided just this time to go ahead and pick it up um which I'm happy about and then I ended up finally getting the bottle Halloween painting um I actually the night before in my cart had put bottled Halloween with um Ooh, it's an image world home by the river or something like that and it was low stock and I was asking Sophie's discord like hey should I get this and everyone's like eh, you probably shouldn't like you know whatever obviously out of love out of love for sure um and I was like okay I'm gonna put it keep it in my cart and then in the morning see how I'm feeling about it um by the time morning came along the home by the river the image world had um sold out <laughs> sold out and um it was discontinued <laughs> Ah, I still can't believe that happened. I mean, it's really fine. That isn't my favorite image world. I've had it on my wish list since it came out and it's been in stock since it came out. So like I could have purchased it at literally any time and I just did not do that. Um, that is definitely a thing to think about though when you're ordering, you know, putting things on your wish list, ordering from Diamond Art Club, is that sometimes they'll discontinue things without warning. Um, that's just part of the business for sure. So yeah, that happened. Um, so I did not get my hands on that. If I find it on a D, D stash at like a pretty reasonable price, I'll consider it. But definitely it wasn't like 
100% like something I felt the need to have. So it's not the biggest deal. Definitely different Image World images that I prefer more. Um, I'm hoping we get some more Image World images at some point soon. I feel like it's been a bit since we've had any and I love Image World. Um, I know they're like a grouping of artists, but like their landscapes always are just so pretty and I don't know what it is why I'm always so intrigued by them. So <clears throat> unfortunately, that is what happened with that painting. Um, oh well, it is what it is. So I ended up purchasing that Alice in Wonderland and the Bottled Halloween. I guess it was a blessing in disguise because I ended up getting the Alice in Wonderland and I probably would not have gotten that one if I had ordered the other orders. So um, yeah, so I'm really happy about the Alice in Wonderland painting. That one's gonna be a ton of fun, I think. So I'm excited about that. Ooh, okay, that was a good choice in color. Oh no, no, we're hitting some of the green symbols that like, the symbols are obviously very distinct, but like they're very similar in color. I like going when there's darker colors to kind of do that one first. What do I want to do next? Um, I guess we can start doing that check mark. It just feels a little, that might be a little chaotic, but that's okay. Um, so, um, yeah, that's, uh, I purchased that over the weekend. That did get me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and restart my camera. I have no faith. I've mentioned this before. My camera shuts off after 30 minutes of filming. We were only at 26, but I really have no faith in my camera to, um, to, I don't know. I just, I feel like it would have just, I would have just had it shut off and then that would have sucked. So I'd rather just <laughs> uh, restart it now. So Anyways, um, so I wanted to talk about that. Uh, videos going up this week. I actually have four videos going up this week for you guys, which is an extra video. <clears throat> um, today's the whip and chat, obviously. Uh, tomorrow will be my Warm Witch post review video. I'm actually very excited about that. I filmed that yesterday, which <clears throat> I'm really glad I was able to get that filmed yesterday because I don't think I would have wanted to do that today on top of this. So I'm really glad I was able to get something filmed yesterday. I just haven't scheduled it yet, but it is edited and um, exported, just not scheduled quite yet, but that's okay. I have a little bit of time on that part specifically. So glad about that. Um, and then Wednesday will be the off day this week. And then Thursday will be an unboxing video of my next round painting that I'm beginning, um, which is the Witch's Flower Shop by Mrs. Butter D. I'm very excited about it. It's such a cute kit. I love the colors in it. I love the artwork. I think it's going to be a really fun time. Um, I'm actually working on it specifically for Drills and Chills, which is hosted by Katie and Lindsay. Uh, uh, diamonds and washi and emeralds and fairy lights and uh, they run that event every year and I'm not going to be like entering for prizes or anything but I do want to wait until September 1st uh, to place my first drills mostly because I want a little bit of extra time to just work on this kit and inside watery eyes just because I haven't been really focusing on these kits over the last couple of weeks um, so I wanted to get like a fair dent made in these before I um, start my new round kit so that's just kind of what I decided for myself. Um, and if I finish it, you know, before the event's over, that's great. If I don't, I don't. I'm not sure if I will or not. Um, but it is very pretty artwork. So I haven't even, I have not filmed the unboxing video yet. Hopefully I'll film that, I don't know, sometime this week for sure. I guess I don't know when, but I'm sure I'll find some time before Thursday to get it filmed. So... That video will come out on Thursday, and then on Friday will be the normal vlog. So definitely some fun videos coming your way for this week. I'm excited about them. Um, Take another sip of my coffee. I feel like I've been filming for like almost half an hour, and so my coffee's just kind of been sitting here. It's like still pretty warm, but definitely cooling off. Mm. You know what? Could be worse. <laughs> um, but that's that's that. Um, oh, one more thing I just wanted to add before I end off this video is that I'm thinking, and I've mentioned this before and I've never actually gone through with it, but I might try to aim to do this next week in my next whip and chat, is probably at the very end of the whip and chat, I'm going to do like a reading wrap up kind of portion of all of the books I read in August. Um, I think it would be a fun way for me to just talk about all of the books I read, um, you know, whether that be, you know, one or, you know, ten. Um... 
I wonder what we're at this month so far. I think we're at four books read this month. I probably will get like another one done before that um, if I'm if I'm lucky. Um, but I'm thinking it just could kind of be a fun little segment to add on to the video in case you're interested in hearing my thoughts about some fun books I read or if you're not interested by that point you could just kind of click off since it'll be at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, I think if that goes over well, I might try to do that monthly. Not like goes over well, but I think the issue is me on this one. Um, I really am so bad at remembering like plots of books, characters, names of books. Like after I've read the book, everything in my head is suddenly left. <laughs> this happens with me with TV shows too. It's really, really weird. Um, so it's n like it's never a book's fault that I don't remember the plot or the characters. It is simply my fault always. Um, even if I gave a book five stars, the second I'm done reading it, everything leaves my brain. So I'll have to like have the Goodreads um, like up on my computer probably and have like the description of the book so that way I can thoroughly describe the book to you without sounding like an idiot. <laughs> Which is totally fine. It's not like I'm cheating or anything. It's not a cheating thing to do. Um, but that's why I've been avoiding it up until this point because I'm just really bad at describing books because a lot of times I don't remember books. Like I could tell you like, oh yeah, I read this book and I gave it five stars and I think you should read it. But like, I don't remember the main character's name um, or like really what happened in this book. Um, for some books I do remember, but definitely not all. So I figure that could be kind of fun to do. Uh, let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. I feel like I would start next week because next week Sunday is September 1st so that would be kind of like perfect timing to get this August you know wrap up filmed in the whip and chat and have that go up it would probably go up the first week of um of the the new month whenever that is that would be when I do the the reading wrap up part um that's kind of my thoughts with that let me know in the comments um if that's something you're interested in or um all that stuff and uh, yeah I feel like I would throw it at the end of the video because then people can just like leave if they don't want to actually sit through that which is totally fair um totally fair so anyways I think I think I might end off this video here I don't have a ton else to say and I might as well get this video like edited quick and scheduled so that way I have nothing to worry about today while I'm gone. That really is the ideal. I'm really glad I sat down and filmed this video when I did because like you guys I really thought about just like letting it go until I got home tonight and I have a feeling tonight when I get home I'm just gonna want to diamond paint with my audiobook on. I'm not gonna actually want to film. So this was a really good choice on my part. Um, but anyways you guys thank you so much for watching this whip and chat video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.